Hey everyone, happy Monday. I hope this all finds you well. Welcome to those of you who may hop on live. Um, I've actually been wanting to get on here and share this process with you um, all morning because it's been a very interesting and insightful 24 hours for me. And it's important for me <laughs> to make sure that you know that I wrestle with and do the work on myself um, as much as I bring it to the clients that I'm working with. And that, again, oftentimes I'm going through these unknown journeys and trying to figure out my own direction. And, and I wanted to share a bit of my own story with you in that regard. So if you follow me on Instagram or it may have posted on Facebook, I posted a quote this morning by Steve Jobs. And the quote is, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. And this morning, um, like if I'd seen that quote two days ago, I'd have been like, yeah, totally. And I think a few weeks ago, I shared some thoughts on, hi, Tanya. I shared some thoughts on this idea that, oh, sometimes you can't see how the dots connect until you're looking backwards. And if I'd seen this maybe on Friday, I would have been like, oh, a really nice quote from Steve Jobs. But this morning when I found it, it was like, oh, I totally get it. Because again, in the past 24 hours and definitely a lot through this morning, all of a sudden I am seeing how dots are connecting within my work from the past five years in a way that I have never seen before. And I'm going to come back. I'll be, I'm, I'm really letting myself kind of sit with it during this week so that when I tell you about it, it can, it can have some coherence because right now I think if I tried to explain it, it wouldn't make any sense. Um, but I also realized this morning that this has happened to me before, and I want to tell you about that. And the reason that I want to share it with you is so that you can maybe take some, some, some of your own insight out of my story. Because for those of you who are watching who maybe feel like you have no idea what the through line is for the work that you're doing. You have no idea how the dots are connecting. It feels like you're throwing confetti up into the air and you're like, I don't know what's going to happen or what direction to go. Um, this story is for you because I've been there. I'm in the middle of it now and I'll tell you more about that another time, but I can tell you about when this has happened to me before. So I grew up in California and I went to school at UC Davis. And while I was at UC Davis, I studied wildlife biology because I was really into science and biology and, and the environment. And while I was there, I went to, I traveled to Mexico to, uh, with a Habitat for Humanity program. So that was kind of my first taste of traveling internationally and it lit this fire within me of like, I wanna go travel and do stuff. So after I graduated college or in my senior year, I discovered the Peace Corps. And it, again, triggered this whole idea of like, I'm going to join the Peace Corps. But it took a good year and a half after graduation for that to happen, during which time I like moved to San Diego and lived on my own for the first time. And then I was like, all right, it's Peace Corps time. So I traveled to Bulgaria in Eastern Europe, and I lived there for 27 months with the Peace Corps. And that was amazing and a whole experience in and of itself. And then as the Peace Corps came to a close, I was thinking, well, what am I going to do next? And some friends of mine suggested, well, why don't you look into Teach for America, which was really interesting because I'd taken this one education course while I was an undergrad and was very interested in it, but just kind of, you know, filed it as something I was interested in. But thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to join Teach for America and become a teacher because why not? So I moved back to L.A., I went through the application process and turned out that um, I got accepted to Teach for America in New York City. I don't think I'd ever been to New York, maybe once. I don't know. Yeah, I've been to New York, but I really, it, it felt like this whole new adventure for me. And I was really nervous about it, but I had, with the encouragement of friends and family, I was like, I got to do this. This is the next thing, right? So I moved to New York to become a teacher. And I taught in the Bronx. I taught eighth grade science for two years during which time I met my future husband in the city. And 
we moved out of New York City and ended up getting married and having kids. So like, then I started this whole new thing and I became a parent and reached this point where looking back, it, it just felt very disconnected. Like I was just in this habit loop, a really exciting one of kind of switching things up every few years. I would try a little bit of this and I would try a little bit of that. And there wasn't a focus. I was not the person that was like, I know what my purpose is and everything is going to be aligned with this thing. It was just a picture that I use is like I was on a jungle gym as opposed to a ladder. But I was loving it. it. It really felt like a part of who I was that I would switch things up and try new things. So then I discovered someone made a suggestion to me, a good friend about, you know, the work that I could be doing. And I was thinking about what I was going to do next. And I discovered coaching and was very intrigued by it. I asked a lot of questions and I was I found a mentor whose work really resonated with me and I was going to sign up for her coach certification program, but I got really nervous because it was going to be an investment of my time and my money. I had young kids at the time and, and, and for the first time, maybe because I was a little bit older and I was like, what if this isn't the thing? Like, what if I invest in this thing, my energy, my time, and it doesn't work out? And I know some of you right now are in that position where you're like, I could do this, but it, what if it has no longevity? And I remember talking to this woman, she was another coach, because I kind of was like interviewing coaches and just trying to learn more about the profession, the field. And, and I told her a bit of my story and I'll never, I can't remember her name and it's killing me. I'm, I'm going to have to try and find it out. But I remember her. To, I was telling her my story and I'm like, everything feels so disconnected. I've done this and I've done this. And who's to say that I don't sign up for this training. And then in two years want to do something totally different because that's what I've been doing. And she said to me, she goes, no, 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 no. Everything that you've done has actually been connected. Everything that you've done from teaching to being in the Peace Corps to all this travel makes perfect sense like it all makes perfect sense with your decision now to pursue coaching um, as a profession and as a field of work and whatever happened in that moment it it clicked like I was able to suddenly look back on my 20s which up until that moment I was like oh, it was all these disparate pieces that had no like they weren't and they were awesome but they weren't connected and I saw how connected they were and it was, I don't know how to describe it. It was, a, but it was almost like all these puzzle pieces were on a table and then they kind of all shaped and went click together. And this morning I said, it was like I was in the, you know, this morning it was like, I feel like I'm in the matrix that was on my Instagram post because I'm in the middle of a moment like that now where all this stuff I've been doing for the past five years as a coach, I can look back on it and see how it fits. And I know for many of you, maybe not for all of you, because some of you might be watching who follow along, you have a really clear through line. You're like, I know what I want the next few years to look like and it's real clear. And that's awesome. I find that inspiring. I want to help you make it happen. I think it's great. But I also know that some of you are watching who maybe it doesn't feel like that. It's like, well, what do I do next? And what should I, do? how does this all fit into a bigger picture? And the answer is, I have no idea. But I do know that there is a through line to what you're doing, even if you can't see it right now. And you might not see it for a while. But in those moments, all you can do, kind of like that quote suggests, is go with your gut. Go with what's inspiring you in the moment. Go with what just feels right now and trust that it's part of something congruent and connected, even if you're not sure how. And it might take you a long time before you can see how it fits. But in the meantime, just stay in the moment and try not to get too far ahead of yourself in this place of like, but what if, what if, how does this all connect? Um, because you won't know until you know. And I'm in a moment of kind of seeing it, which is cool. And so that's why I'm sharing it with you and, and to know that, that that will happen at some point. <laughs> So uh, that's what I've got. Thanks, Tanya, for your comments about trusting, and, and that's 
that's a lot of what it comes down to is just trusting yourself in any moment. And that even if you can't see the big picture, there is one, you're just going to see it behind you as opposed to in front of you sometimes. So if you have any comments, any questions, please leave them uh, in the comments, share what you have heard, because again, I come here sharing this stuff, not so that I can hear myself talk, uh, but so that it can perhaps trigger a new insight for you. And that's, why you're here is is for nothing that I say, but everything that you hear through the things that I'm sharing. So um, feel free to leave your comments below. And if you wanna talk about this even more, we can totally connect. I will put that link in the comments as well about ways that you and I can connect one-on-one -on -one to see if there are ways I can support you in the stuff that you're working on. And uh, yeah, that's what I've got. Thanks all of you for being here. Thanks for those of you who popped on live and I will, Talk to you again too.